if you are following Aduro, you know that the company had several good news releases um, recently. And when the news hit the market, the stock price didn't really go up that much because there was always sellers that satisfied whatever extra demand came from from whatever news was released. And part of the reason was people exercising warrants. And what you have in front of you here is a summary of outstanding warrants. This is on page 16 of the management discussion. And I think that within uh, five weeks, that kind of pressure will be gone because about 2.3 million warrants are expiring. See, look at this here. On April 8th, 1.5 million warrants are expiring. They are at $1. On April 8th, another 49,000 of warrants is expiring. And then April, so that's what? Not too, you know, 18 days or something like that. And about 1.6 million warrants is expiring. Then when we go to the end of April, you have another 725,000 and 29,000. So in total, between these four, it's uh, 2.3 million warrants. And because they are at $1, a Canadian, uh, the company is receiving money, right? So in total, the company will, as long as the stock price stays above $1 Canadian, the company will receive uh, $2.3 million. And, and a lot of times, or sometimes, what people do, if the stock price is higher, so let's say it's one 136 right now, they will sell at 136 the freely trading shares in their account. They will take that money or less less money because you know they don't need 136, and they will send it to the to to the company and buy the same number or more shares uh, at a dollar. At a dollar. So some people have to sell their existing shares in order to exercise the warrants. Some people have extra money and they don't have to do that. But the point is that there was, whether we like it or not, there was pressure from the warrant exercises that was keeping the stock price down. The positive, of course, is that the company is receiving money. Right, because it's it's receiving the money, and then the company can finance itself. Uh, the the burn rate that it has, and also the build out of R three, those warrant exercises are very important. So, I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of the April eight, a lot of these were already exercised. I wouldn't be surprised. So then, but probably, probably these, these two haven't been exercised because they got like five weeks or more to get that done. But then after this, there is nothing until July 19. There's not, no warrants expiring until Ju July 19. So if we have positive news, which for sure we're going to have news. If we have positive news, after those expire and people will want to buy based on, based on this news, there will be less pressure from the sellers, right? It's obvious. Until, of course, July 19. And also, if there's going to be 
you know, no private placement or anything like that, anybody that will want shares, they will have to go to the open market to get them.